Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Luna. I hope you're all doing well. And as mentioned in a previous video earlier, I said I would be making another video, another video on some of the vintage pieces that I found today after work. Um, as I've said before, I sometimes go to an open air uh, flea market and it was on today, the weather was good enough, so it was there today. And I only picked up two pieces, but the two pieces I picked up um, um, one of them is unusual um, it's not what I would usually pick up I tend to always go for the vintage matchbox if it's there or if I can find any Hot Wheels but anyway I will show you what I got less of the gabs we'll just put the phone in a little bit so the first piece I got is this awesome little beetle Whiz Wheels Corgi Beetle so there you go Corgi Juniors made in Great Britain whiz wheels <clears throat> and this was made from about 72 to about 74 ish I believe but it just wants a bit of a wants a bit of a, a dusting basically I haven't done nothing to this I've literally just just got it and I will be giving it a bit of a clean up it will clean up nice I'll be able to get the windows looking nicer than this I obviously can't give it my usual dunk in soapy warm water and dry off as it still has its stickers on but these fetch silly money these beetles for some reason these um whiz wheel beetles um i know somebody that had an orange variation of this <coughs> in, in um, an orange variation sorry in quite poor condition and he wanted 20 pounds for it and when, I, and when I researched why it was, you know, that was the price he wanted for it, um, I realised that for some reason these these are just just seem to be hold hold their money really well. Um, this is a more common variation: um, the green, uh, the light green, and this metallic green. And these, in really nice condition, sort of fetch around the twenty to thirty pound mark. Believe it or not, this is worth. 15 to 20 pounds mark but i was lucky enough to get it um, it had five pounds on the ticket but it's been crossed out as you can see and i actually got it for four pounds so but like i said this will clean up i when the next time i show this in the future it will look completely different um it will look vibrant and clean so cool 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 fine cool bye um, as you can see the lights are part of the screen <coughs> excuse me the colors to look out for when getting these the rare ones are the yellow <coughs> they do like a yellow um, I'm not quite sure what the car is it's got a, a, a light coming through the roof um, and it's yellow and they're they're fetching absolutely ridiculous amounts of money the orange variations are quite quite expensive but this is the more common variation but as you can see it is a very dirty piece but it is in very it's in quite nice condition like i said it will clean up so that was the first piece and like i said i do i don't know i, I do like my beetles i must admit and um i think it was um paul from which city collector as he says before it doesn't matter what the condition is of <coughs> die cast uh, Volkswagen Beetles they look good whether they're rough or whether they're um, clean but like I said I will clean this one up so that was the first fine and it still rolls really well so that's pretty cool and then the second piece I've found which has still got the four pound price sticker on it so let's just gently pull that off I knew that was going to happen oh, well, I'll have to take that off off camera I suppose I'll see if I can can I get the rest of it? No. Oh, well, it was my own fault. <coughs> Excuse me. I should have uh, made it damp and it would have come off. But anyway, this is a Mercedes-Benz truck. Um, it looks like it's an ambulance. And it's, it, again, it's in pretty good condition. But the reason I bought this, and it's made by a company called Siku. As you guys, I forgot to mention it was by Siku. So there you go. It just says Benz. I'm not even going to try to to read that. Siku, made in Germany. But when I looked at it, I just thought, 
it picked it up such a weighty piece it really is a substantially made um, piece of die cast and you've got an opening door there pretty nice shut lines a lot of the modern stuff hasn't got shut lines like that obviously it has the opening rear now this would have had the gurney or the bed would have slid into the back it doesn't have it but that's to be expected but again this will <clears throat> this will clean up um like i said i just thought i'd show them because sometimes i show them after i've cleaned them i thought i'd show them as they've came and again it's got another opening feature there which my finger stuck and again another opening so i just thought it was a really cool piece can't even get the doors to open there we go a really cool piece and you see that lump there by the dash that would be to get access to the engine um, I've actually worked on something very similar to this years ago um, my one of my first jobs when I was a youngster after I left school was I was a, a panel beater and a sprayer and I actually worked on one of these a longer version it wasn't an ambulance it was just a plain van version but like I said you've got a very small access hatch here pretty much just to put coolant in and check the oil and all that good stuff but to actually work on the engine you would actually go inside the cab and lift up that um, shroud and then you'd be able to get to the to the engine um, I'm not sure what year this is <clears throat> it was a bit vague I tried looking up online CQ information is not like Matchbox um, some of it you can't read some of it um, because it's in a foreign language but from what I can gather, this is from a, between the late 60s and early 70s. So it's quite old, but really, really weighty, solid piece. And for something that is as old as it is, it's in very nice condition. And like I said, I will clean all this up. Um, I, will, I will get all the dust and the dirt from the inside. Um, and like I said before, when they've got stickers like this, obviously I have to spend a lot longer cleaning them usually if they don't have any stickers or what have you i will give them a like i said before a little bath and some very very diluted warm soapy water <coughs> excuse me and then i towel dry and drip dry and and then i hair dry them so that they don't corrode the axles but i can't do it this because like i said it does still have some of its original stickers but like i said it is a cool piece and I'm not fussed about them being a little bit play-worn. Um, again, it doesn't roll too bad. Um, there it is. So that is... Let's just look at a second. Is that a screw or a rivet? It looks like a rivet. So anyway, so that is today's finds. Not a lot. Quite a quick video. Um, leave a comment what you think. Like I said, we all tend to buy stuff that's new. Um, and I do myself, but it is cool to sometimes find these older pieces. But anyway, with that, um, please like, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more vintage pieces, wheel swaps, customs, all that good stuff to come. I am going to be doing the white challenge tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Um, and with that, I'll see you all very soon. Thank you for watching.